Let's take a look at how Postman can make you more productive when debugging when using the collection runner. I've got a workspace with a collection and a number of requests inside that collection. Most of these are duplicates of one another, but I've made a few alterations. We have two ways of getting to the collection runner from here. We can click on the collection name and from the three dots, we can see in the submenu here, we have an option to run the collection. The other option when we select the collection name is to look for the run button in the top right corner of our user interface. Both of these will get us to this panel where we can run a collection. For my collection and my workspace, I actually need to choose an environment first. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And these are the options that are on or off by default. We're gonna go ahead and run those tests. Now this one stops because I have an intentional error in here. What we can see if we choose one of our requests is that the response body is not available. We've got a handy link in here that you can click on to go back to the configuration where it's going to enable this checkbox for us to persist those responses. I'm going to go ahead and run that again. What this will give us now, if we select one of our requests, is it'll actually show us the response body that came back where before it was not available. When it comes to debugging, sometimes we have a failing test and sometimes we have outright errors. And so the next one that we're going to look at is when we have this sort of error condition and we've got this option to check on the console, this link is immediately going to open the console for us here and we can examine what happened with that request. In this case, I had a variable that didn't resolve and so it had no way of resolving that DNS lookup. For this request, we simply had a failing test. And when we select this, we can see the request that happened, but this doesn't really give us a good way of determining what happened. One shortcut that we can do that we've enabled in Postman now is if you click on the name of the request here, Postman will actually take you directly to that request. You can take a look at your test code and you can see what happened. In this case, I had a test that was expecting a 201. It's actually going to return a 200 status code. So I can come back in here and I can correct my test in this case. I'll save that work and I'll come back here and we'll run our tests again. Now we see that that one has passed successfully, but the rest of our requests have actually halted because we had a hard error. If we come back to the new run button and we go back into the configuration, if we open the advanced settings block, we see a checkbox here that says stop the run if an error occurs. I'm going to unselect that checkbox and we're going to go ahead and run our collection runner again. So we see that that one still failed as it scrolls by, but at least now the collection runner is going to run all of the other requests that we had in the collection. We can scroll up while that's still running and we can see what happened with that failure again. So again, we can click on the check console. In this case though, we have to scroll up to see where that error occurred and we'll see some errors in here. And again, it's showing us that that DNS lookup failed.